Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks. I helped somebody with this the other day, and now they've sent this. And I don't completely understand. He uses spray paint, which is pretty cool, but he created photo paint, and I just I don't have time right now to go to photo paint, and I'm going to move that out of the way. Um, and it, when you move stuff, you can see stuff. See how the edge is not. Uh, symmetrical on the right hand side something's going on there this is his original now I can't can't really get it back but while I was just kind of looking at it something looked a little different so I'm going to go to view and go in wireframe and there's a little line there and some lines there because if we go back to enhanced and we if we just put some paint you know, inside there somewhere. Let's use dark blue just to get a reference. And go to effects and order and back a page. We have that white line is, is making a white. He just didn't trace it good. There's actually some white on the handle, which doesn't really matter on this case. But then we got this that's left over from something. So we need to get rid of those two things. But it's maybe easier said than done or harder than done. Let's go to view and wireframe again. Uh, I normally don't use wireframe, but it, it really helps out in these cases. So we're going to get rid of these lines. And we can go back to view now and go to enhance. And we might be able to go to group and ungroup all and see if we can't grab something that's there that's white. And I think we've got it. Well, part of his hand can't do that. So maybe we can bring our blue back in and see if we can't grab. See, for just a second, I'm going to nudge that line out of the way because that's a problem. Um, almost 10 inches, so I'm going to nudge it 10 inches. And I'm going to take that line, I'm going to nudge it out of the way. There we go. Now he still probably has it in the megaphone, but that might not be as, as easy. And, and there's ways around that. Well, look at there. And the other side is gone too. So now what I would suggest to do, go back to photo paint and um, just fill in this part with photo paint, with paint. So I'm going to do it inside of Corel. I'm going to color that light blue. And I am going to go to bitmap. I'm going to convert that to a bitmap. I'm going to convert it to CMY. Doesn't really matter. Made it a little bit different. Go to effects, art strokes, and just try different. Uh, you know, I've never really used too much effects because of the fact that we don't really get to see what it's going to look like. And you can change the, the size, the density. Um, no, I don't like that at all. So you can cancel it. But you could go back to Photo Paint and do this. You know, whatever, you, however you did this, I like it. Uh, I wish there was a spray paint. And somebody's going to probably point in and say, well, there is. Um, that did nothing. Um, I should have practiced this a little bit. Um, I don't know what point list would be. You know, let's just call that good for the video. Let me see what it looks like. Yeah, that's not bad. Now what we can do is, because we, and we could also go to the trans, uh, transparency tool and put a little bit of transparency on it. Different areas or whatever, you could play around with that, but that's not really what the video is about. It looks really gaudy until we go to object order back of page. So if you can do that with your spray paint, I don't, I don't understand this black, um, 
black dotted line around here. Um, there must be something in the drawing. Uh, can't really take it away. Um, I didn't really look. Tell you, well, I hate to go back. Tell you what, let me see if I can't. Um, let's make a mark fill that with that blue. See, oh, it's because it's a bitmap. That's what you get when you get a bitmap. Uh, we're going to have to trim that away. So what we can do, let's, we're going to have to back up. Okay, we're back to where we were. We'll look at it now. Let's see, we have, oh, there's two sets of lines there. Tell you what, let's just make a new, a new obstacle or a new object. Left click, right click. Now we just have one line. That might be the key right there. Sorry about that. And let's take, just get rid of that old one. And remember I nudged, I did not move. So we'll be able to nudge this right back over and let's make it that blue and let's go to a bitmap and convert it to a bitmap, turn it into CMYK. Now, when I said that, I don't know if you remember, I said um, that bitmaps do that. Um, we're going to have that square. Well, it didn't do it. That's good. So now we can go to effects. Art strokes, I can't remember which one to use. Um, I think we use, let's try another one. Let's say that's good. And then we can get rid of that box. And now let's nudge it up. Go to object, <clears throat> order, back of page. That doesn't look like spray paint but we're still getting that garbage at the bottom. Maybe that's uh, has to be there. Uh, I know we can get rid of it because let's try this. Let's try, oh, let's try, um, it's just different because it's a bitmap, but we could try, let's back up again. I almost thought about this when we were doing this. Okay. There's that um, item. I made a duplicate and nudged it over. Now let's take this one. I hate my videos getting this long. Let's, let's take away the outline. That might be it. Turn it into a bitmap. Go to effects and I think art stroke, I think we used whatever this was. And you could change you know, the size, I don't know what the sizes are. No, it's just different contrast, basically. And then call that good. And then let's look at it. Maybe that's what it was. We were just using an outline and it was uh, messing with the outline. So don't use an outline. Put that up there, go to object, order, back of page. And we still didn't you, you know, use the transformation. But all your white's gone. The only other thing I see that I, would, I wouldn't be happy with is this. I don't know what this is. Um, but that could be a separate video. Anyway, I hope that helped.